Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. Come on, chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still I guess. I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. What the fuck happened here? That's not good. No! No! 
I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's pointless. I can't even bear here. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. <sighs> They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time! What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth! Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? <sighs> yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. I... <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Maybe we should call Gus. I... Remember that. I think it used to be in the... Living room. Well, maybe he can help. <sighs> it's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What 
What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. That's, that's... Feels so awkward to be here. And we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> you know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Ah, <sighs> you... You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. <sighs> Dad has a family house there. Sean. You can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise are no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something.
how do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. <sighs> Plus you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and 
Everything should be fine. Sleep tight. Little cub. Man, I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. <laughs> this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. <sighs> Man, I miss that dirty little dog. So much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. That's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. That's a cool memento of art. Secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo-choo! So careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to! We're late on schedule! Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it, and kept it. It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. Oh man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth, <laughs> just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. 
Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? 
It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, I'll be happy to let Stephen know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. It's cool he took us in, but... What How long guys? are we going to stay here? What do you mean? Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool anyway. Yeah. Well, it's life. <laughs> Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? <laughs> Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Two stairs. I want to be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you. Time guys. to take the pen, dude. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Moving. Hope I look good. I need to observe more before I can actually draw. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I'm cool. not moving. I think I'm ready to draw this. I'm not moving. Time to take the pen, dude. Nope. I can't do anything without looking up first. <sighs> okay. I'm not moving. Got it. Hope I look good.
sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's, it's fine, really. We don't have to. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Sean, quick! Look at this fish! It's so beautiful. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got Dude, here. Come on! I told you there's a fish in it. I better catch up. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. <sighs> That's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Steven could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. Of course he would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll see. Gee, I could never do that. You're not the only one Karen hurt. Hey, Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me. I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. <laughs> Man. That's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> I almost started dating this one person. But I guess... not anymore. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. 
His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. <laughs>